Hello, it's Mike from Victory's Art. It's high time I did another little video, and this time it's time to introduce our new workshop. You know what this is? It's a stained glass terrarium. These were all the vogue in the 1980s. Actually, they first became really popular during the Victorian times. Um, great little indoor garden is what it is. It's a little indoor greenhousey garden. I made this one. This is a prototype for the workshop I did. Really pleased with how it came out. And I have to say, I actually really enjoyed making it. Um, I'm not a gardening person at all myself. Jenny did the actual planting. You know that we're at Bell Plantation, which is a big garden centre here north of Toaster. Um, all of the little cactusy plant things and the soil and the gravel and so on that Jenny used to plant this can be bought from the Bell Plantation. Um, but anyway, the workshop you actually make your own glass terrarium. There are two designs that I've done. This is, this is the first of the two. Um, it's made using the copper foil method of stained glass. So it's basically a stained glass 3D copper foil project. Uh, the workshop takes place over either two days. Um, in 2022, that'll be a weekend course. In 2021, because we're very short of dates at the moment, um, we've done it as four evenings. Um, all the details are on our website, www.vitreous-art.co.uk slash classes. You'll make your own terrarium. We provide all the materials, all the tools. It's suitable for beginners. Yeah, absolutely. So if you've never done stained glass before, you've never done the copper foiling method before, this is a good project. It's quite tricky, I won't deny, but it's very satisfying to make. And I generally find that really simple things to make actually aren't as enjoyable to make as the trickier projects like this. Uh, there are six pieces of glass around the bottom, and then there are three triangular sides, and the whole thing is held together by a hexagonal base. And you'll cut all the glass. I'll show you how to cut the glass accurately enough so that all the pieces will fit together. You'll use the copper foil. Uh, we use black backed copper foil on this uh, because we're going to patina. That's why the normally silver coloured solder looks black on this one. And then we'll give you some advice about how to plant it as well. I've, I've chosen to leave the sides clear so that you can see the soil and the gravel. I think that's quite a modern kind of alternative. Um, in the past, I know quite a lot of people have made this sort of thing, uh, terrarium type projects with opal glass on the side so that you don't see the soil. You could choose to do that if you really want to, but I would, I would recommend leaving them clear. Um, so I think it looks a little bit more modern. So that's the essence of what you make. If you've never done the copper foiling before, or indeed if you've done if you've never done stained glass at all before, uh, this is still a really really nice project. Um, it's it's a good project because you learn quite a lot of stuff, especially how to join together three-dimensional objects. Um, you learn how to use the copper foil. You learn some quite interesting soldering techniques because soldering three-dimensional projects together is not the same as soldering flat things together. Um, and you make your own terrarium. How brilliant is that? So, have a look at the website, www.vitreousart- no, sorry, vitreous-art.co.uk. I should remember that's my own website. And go to the classes tab and find the stained glass terrarium workshop or call in at the gallery and ask for information. It's a nice fun project. I commend it to you. I certainly enjoyed making this one. Cheers.